hello everyone uh, welcome back um, in this video i shall tell you the difference between implications of the study and recommendations of the study uh, but before i start i would request you to please like share and subscribe the channel because without your subscribing the channel i will not be able to carry on with more videos uh, and i would feel enthusiastic if you subscribe to my channel and would be a great motivation for carrying on such videos to help researchers so please please do not forget to subscribe and uh, tell others about uh, this channel also so that they can also subscribe uh, to this channel and make use of this helpful information if you find it helpful um so the difference between implications and recommendations of the study uh, while talking about implications uh, we would say that implications are general in nature whereas recommendations are specific to the study for example uh, i am taking an example of financial literacy of women so in uh, my uh, research paper i find out that the financial literacy of women was low so on the basis of the study i would say that on the basis of the above discussion made in my study i would say that uh, on the basis of the discussion i would say that uh, certain recommendations can be made to the policy makers uh, that the financial literacy of women uh, would increase if they would take certain initiatives which are oriented towards women so well designed financial education program especially for women is what i recommend on the basis of the results of my study and uh, to the researchers i would recommend to carry out more and more studies to find out which segment of women up practically or are actually not financially literate it is not that all the segments of women are not financially literate it is certain specific segments for example the older segment the uh, greater age group or uh, say women living in rural area they are particularly more financially illiterate as compared to others baby the findings of the study so this has to be examined demographically so these are the results which i've got from the my study which i have researched and the results portray this whereas um, these drawbacks or these limitations so i will make recommendations of the study on the basis of the limitations of my study or what what i found in my study whereas implications would be in general implications would be like on the basis of the above discussion following implications arise to the society that the society should uh, overcome its stereotypes the social norms values and practices that define the inequality between men and women need to be eradicated or women need to change their attitude because attitude and the societal norms these are not measurable con concepts until you quantify them so they are not measurable and i am not making these recommendations on the basis of what i have found from my study implications are general which are not directly related with the study they have not directly come up from the study they are indirectly associated with the study so whatever i find directly from the study i would pick them or quote them as recommendations of the study what i derive indirectly from the study are called the implications of the study are named as implications of the study i hope uh, this video has made the difference between recommendations and implications of the study clear uh, so thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe in my next video i shall be talking about how to write the implications and how to write the recommendations based on the results of the study this was just to to uh, tell you the difference between them i would be explaining how to write the recommendations and implications in detail in my uh, further videos thanks for watching